Hi guys, today's topic is going to be one of your favorite topics. It's how to shorten your backswing if it's going way too far. So, I mean, they are, there are reasons why the club is traveling too far. Because if you do everything in a correct way, the club will never be further than 11 o'clock in the backswing. So let me just show you just a few points what I would think of if I just want to, you know, be compact. So my thoughts are, as you know from former videos, that my, my front shoulder always works down to the ball, right? So if that wouldn't happen, if I would just use the turn thought again, of course, here I have a lot of space. I can, you know, I can cock my wrist and I would not even feel that I'm so super long. My whole body is getting up and the club is, is coming way too far, right? So one thing what could help you is if you get down with your shoulder, then your arms really have to fold a lot to get a long backswing. So, but if you keep your shoulder down, the backswing will become shorter in any way. So this is one point. Then one thing what I just mentioned by talking is if you lose the tension in your arms. And you know, I have a lot of students they say, yeah, I, I know I'm folding my left or my front arm uh, and I can't hold it straight. But you know, maybe you can see it better from this side. So if you, you know, if you, if you go too far back of your swing and you f you get really really tight here i mean there is no other way that this elbow will fold at some point you know because you're just so far back you cannot hold that arm straight it's just getting too tight with your chest so it will fold so what do you actually want to do you want to have the club i mean the club is always in front of you right so if i if i turn like this the club will not all of a sudden disappear behind me. It will always stay in front of me. So my radius is going to stay the same. So this is what you want to have by bending over too. You want to stay in front of your chest. And of course the hands maybe will travel a little bit more backwards. But if you stay here in front of your chest, in front of you, then the left arm has a chance or the front arm has a chance to stay straight. If you let the club travel too far behind you, the front arm will always fold, right? And so this is like the trick or the thinking you're supposed to do once you want to keep this, the width, once you want to keep the arms in front of you and straight, okay? The right arm, you don't want to have straight all the time. I mean, this is impossible and also not correct. We were talking about that right elbow. It wants to be in the right position, but the hands always want to stay more in front of you instead of traveling behind you. Many people or many golfers do this turning behind because they think once they get in a flatter position, then the over the top swing will not happen as much. But I promise you, the more you're actually turning back, the more over the top will follow because how do you want to hit a ball from this, from this angle here? I mean, this is quite impossible. You have to go back for So in case you're thinking like that, don't do that because it's going to get worse and worse. Okay, so we had the shoulder, we had to keep the width. And of course, another thing you could think of is the body angle. So once you set up to the ball, you know, you shouldn't do anything extreme. You shouldn't, you know, push out your bum uh, completely because that will hurt your, your back at some point. Just really bend over in a, in a good way. So uh, the back should be straight. So now in your backswing, you want to keep that angle. You want to stay covering the ball, right? You want to stay over here. I mean, once you're loosening up your body angle, this is what I talked about with the shoulder as well, but once you really lose that body angle, of course that swing can go far as well. The, the, the arms will bend, everything will collapse at some point, and then it's really, really hard to get in position and the arms long again. So focus on always staying the same body angle and I, I promise you once you really try to stay down and keep that angle the length of your backswing will decrease a lot okay so those are the main factors I follow up in my coaching if people think um, they swing up or if I see they just really swing too far um, but I tell you the biggest thing is the shoulder part 
you want to have the shoulders always working towards the ball. It doesn't matter what kind of club you hit, you always want to go down to the ball. You never want to go up and catch your chin. Girls, remember, you never want to have makeup on your shirt because once you have makeup on your shirt here, you're certainly coming up. You want to be below your chin. All right, guys, so I really hope you enjoyed that content and it will help your game and your swing. And if you do so, put a thumbs up on it. If you have any questions, just let me know. I will try to answer them as quickly as possible. Um, subscribe this channel, follow me on Instagram if you want to know more about me. And other than that, I wish you all the best and have fun practicing. See you soon.